Hey guys, BAB, BAB, one, two, three, three, two, one. And I'm back today with a unboxing for you guys of the Nexus 7. Now, uh, to start off my unboxing, I just want to do a quick overview of the box, of course. Um, I already cut open the seal on the inside. I took off the plastic and everything. I have the cable and the adapter right here that I'll show you in a second. But I just want to go over the box real quick since this is an unboxing. Alright, so you have the next 7 box here, got some serial stuff on the bottom that I don't need to bore you with. Um, this is a 16 gigabyte model I picked up at Staples for 250 and then plus tax of course depending on which state you live in. Um, so that's the front, shows the Nexus 7 right here and then the Nexus logo over here. Um, then you turn to the, uh, well it's my right, it's going to be your left, uh, whatever you want to do if you get a Nexus 7 of course it will be on your right of the box. Um, and it says Nexus 7 right on the side, and then it has, um, however you want to pronounce it, Asus or Asus on the bottom right here. I believe most of the people who work for the company pronounce it as Asus, um, but um, pretty much everyone I know that pronounces it pronounces it like Asus. Um, so however you want to pronounce it, guys, Asus, Asus, whatever, it's right there in the box. Uh, so that's the same on both sides. Then you get to the back of the box, and you got Google right at the top. Um, also, it was Google's birthday, I believe, uh, yesterday, uh, yesterday, the uh, 27th, uh, or a day before. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but, all right, here we go. So, made for Google Play right here. Um, Google Play is the store. Some, you know, people like to reference it to, like, an iTunes of the Google, Google version of iTunes, essentially. Uh, Full-fledged Android tablet and pure Google. So, gets you Google+, Chrome, YouTube, um, all that Google goodness. Alright, so guys, that's the box on the outside. Well, let's get to the underside of this box. So, here we go. We got black, nothing around it, just the stuff that's on the bottom, and then it says Nexus. Let's get into this. I saw some people having trouble opening up these boxes. Honestly, it's not that hard. You just you pull it off. It's got two, two little tabs there for a reason. Okay. So that's top of the box. Then you got the device right here, which I already took the plastic off, so let's take a quick look at the device. has a, I believe, a 1.2 megapixel camera at the top, so it's not a VGA, which is very nice to see out of a, um, out of a tablet, um, especially when most front-facing cameras are really, really um, cheap and lousy today. Um, uh, except for uh, phones, of course. Phones usually have... Uh, Depending on which phone you get, um, I know the iPhone has a uh, take 720p from the uh, front-facing camera that now. And um, before, a lot of cameras that were front-facing were just really lousy. Like the iPod Touch fourth generation, I don't believe was a um, uh, as an actual um, uh, camera, as a VGA camera. Um, just it takes really poor quality uh, pictures. Um, not to say the 1.2 megapixel takes any better, but it does take a better quality um, video or a picture, um, depending on what you're doing. Alright, so enough about my ranting about the uh, camera on the front. So you have the camera on the front, the light sensor with the next to it. Um, you can't see it because it's a black edition, but there is a light sensor next to it. Um, if you faintly look at it in the light, you can see the little black perforated sort of dot thing under the screen that's right there. And then you got the screen right here. Um, you also got the micro USB, I believe, on the bottom, and the headphone jack to the right of that. Um, then you got this little four-pin connector here, uh, which I'm assuming is for a dock to be released. And then on the back, you got this sort of golf ball textured um, grip material. Um, feels very good in the hand. Um, and then it says Nexus, Nexus here on the back, and Asus suits on the bottom, and as well as the speaker. Then, um, if I want to just quickly turn on my tablet, I already, um, I've already used it for a while right now, so I'll give you guys my quick opinions. I will be doing a full review of this tablet to come very soon. So that is just the tablet and the box. Now, um, the accessories come in this little black compartment that's inside the center of the box. So you get the manuals and all that other good stuff that's down there. Now, to get to the cable. Um, the cable is USB to micro USB. Um, I believe it's micro USB, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, the only thing I don't like about this cable is the fact that on the ends, um, these uh, little 
pieces before you get to the actual USB tip right here um, is sort of a glossy finish and it's going to get scratched up and look lousy. However, it's just a cable. You can always buy a new one if you don't like it. Um, so that's the cable. And then you get a wall adapter here, which has some Asus branding, Asus branding on that. The only thing I don't like about this is the fact that the prongs on the top don't flip down or whatnot. Um, other than that, it's just a standard wall adapter. Um, doesn't do that too much for you. And then I have some plastic crap over here that nobody wants to see. Alright guys, so that was my unboxing of the Nexus 7 by Google. Um, if you have any uh, comments, questions, drop them in the comment boxes below. And then be sure to hit that like button. Click on it. It's right over there. Bam. Um, and then subscribe up top. Over there. Uh, and uh, feel free to subscribe if you like my videos. If you've been watching the channel. Um, feel free to subscribe. And I will see you guys very soon in my Hesh 2.0. Uh, review coming next. Bam! So, um, put a link to that below in the comments, um, in the, um, in the, uh, section down below. Uh, click on the, uh, the little doohickey down there and it'll go to the video. If you want to watch that, just click on it. Alright guys, I will see you in my next video. Cheers!